When I was younger, I used to do gymnastics, and, and I always thought I wanted to go to the Olympics for gymnastics, but I was never really that good, and so <laughs> when I started snowboarding, um, in 2002, I watched Kelly Clark win the gold medal in Salt Lake, and um, that's when I really was like competing and, and snowboarding a ton and, you know, ditching school and <laughs> going up to the hill, and so uh, um, I watched that, and that's really when I was like, I would love to go to the Olympics for snowboarding and, and be able to you know, compete on that level, and, and it's pretty crazy. When I went um, in 2006, um, I was there with Kelly, and again this year I'm here with Kelly, so it's pretty cool to be able to look back on that and, and have her there still with me. When I was going into the 2006 Olympics, I was only 16, so I was definitely the underdog. No one was really expecting me to go, and, and I was kind of just doing it for fun, so when I got there, it was like, a whirlwind experience. It was completely overwhelming, but it was definitely really, really fun and the experience of my life, pretty much. And and so, being able to take that into this Olympics is is pretty awesome. And and know what I'm getting into and and be prepared for just everything that is involved in the Olympics um, is really nice. And and I'm really looking forward to Vancouver. This entire season has been a whirlwind. It's been crazy. Um, We've had the Grand Prix series, which is five events, and those were the qualifiers for the U.S. team to go to the Olympics. And um, so we had from December till now, heading to Vancouver, first week of February, we've had five Grand Prix. I've competed in two do tours, um, the X Games, and I guess that's it. So pretty much something every weekend other than Christmas weekend. Um, it's definitely been pretty crazy. Snowboarding contests are kind of all the same. I mean, the Olympics is on a whole nother level, so I'm just trying to prepare myself for that. But um, it's really nice to be able to compete a lot up until then to just get used to the pressures and, and the media and what, what it's going to be like up in Vancouver. Well, this whole season I've been working on back-to-back -back nines, and that's kind of been my goal of the season. and, and um, so I'm just working on really cleaning that up and, and getting my run really solid and consistent. And, and I think that's what it's going to take in Vancouver is being consistent because everyone has such good runs and such good tricks. It's just being able to land it every time and, and know and be confident in yourself. 